Hey friends, I have a junking haul for you today, but I want to apologize in advance. I ordered one of those lapel microphones and it was horrible. I didn't realize it until after the fact. I have sent it back, but please bear with me if you can get through the muffled sound. I have some really good finds. So I wanted to share some of the junk that I've been collecting over the last couple of months. This is a little bit of everything from thrift stores to yard sales to antique stores. This isn't everything, but it is the good stuff. And I know you guys like a junk haul just as much as I do. So found a little copper tea kettle at a thrift store, I do believe. And I've never seen a little petite creamer like this. And it was only $2.97 from a thrift shop. And then I found the wooden hanger at a yard sale. I think that was a dollar. I love it when it has the engraving. Oh, the good old days. <laughs> and then I found the clipboard. It's not all that old, but it's going to be fixed to look a little bit older. And then I found this old jar for a dollar. It didn't have the lid, but I collect lid. Well, I don't collect lids. Like I keep them in case I need them for things like this. So I just put the lid on there. And then I um, showed you guys this, what do you call it? A towel rack, whatever I'm going to do with it. I'm not sure. Got that at an antique store and then i found this yesterday it's just an old spool of thread i think this came off of a um wood churn i, I don't know what i'm gonna do with it and then i found these cute little um brass candlesticks i've never seen one like this before really tarnished this one is a little bit bigger and i'm going to sell those so far all the other stuff i'm keeping um the lint uh, lint chaser brush i thought this was cute has a little hole if you wanted to hang it it's definitely going to be for sale and then this wooden cobbler shoe i'm keeping it i thought that was so cute it was all chippy and I think I'm going to try to drill a hole in the top of it and put one of those wire photo holders on it to make a photo holder. I don't know. And then I found these old garden clippers and they are already rusted to perfection. I don't know if you can see that or not. So, and then I found a little chunky, I don't know what the name of this is. It was 50 cents. Um, it's not ironstone. If you guys have heard of this name, let me know. But I liked it because it was all chunky. And then I found this bag of wooden. I'm not going to touch the bag because it will be really loud. Um, but these little wood thread bobbins. And then I found the old basket. And then I found this other basket here. I found these two at an antique store. And found the cowbell yesterday at an antique store, Angel's Antiques, which I just um, am getting ready to do a video for. And then I loved this old photo. I thought this was so pretty. It looks like an old house. Well, it is an old house, but look, you can see the curtain hanging out of the window. And this sweet looking lady. I wish it would be a little more clear, but it looks like she's holding a newspaper. I'm not sure. And it looks like there's someone standing in the door, but I can't tell. I just thought this was a really pretty picture. I'm keeping it because I collect old photos and I found the suitcase at an antique store. Um, I found another old Kentucky home um, scale yesterday at Angel's. And then I thought this little sweet book, I found it at the thrift store. It's like a little pocket size. And then I found this ironstone. It was $2.99. It's the Federalist. I just thought it was sweet with a little book in there. And then I found another um, candlestick. Oops. 
that was $4.99. And of course, I found this old dolly at a thrift store. It's kind of hard to do this. I really <laughs> hand it to you ladies that do these YouTube videos one handed because this is a learning curve for me. Hopefully, I'll get better. Found this at Angels, and I thought this would be really pretty with some old paintbrushes or possibly some Christmas greens. I don't know. But my grandfather rolled his own cigarettes with Prince Albert, so this kind of tugged at my heartstring. And then I found this one at Angels. It's an old West Clocks. Bluebird is the dealer on that, and she has the best booth there. I've never met her, but she has all of this really old stuff like I like. Um, found this old broom at a yard sale, I believe, for a dollar. And then I loved this. Um, my mind just went blank, which is, you know, easy these days safety box deposit box it has the little key and then it still has some old stuff in it <laughs> i just left that in there keeping this and then i found this postcard holder which has a little owl on the back of it or on the top of it and i'm going to keep it but i can't decide if i want to leave it black or if i want to make it a little more rusty or paint it white. I'm not sure. So many decisions. But this is everything. So like I said, some of it I'm going to keep, some of it I'm going to sell. And I've just had fun getting out and hitting thrift stores the last couple of months. And of course, now we are going into um, the fall, which is my favorite time of the year. And it's also my favorite time to get out and go to yard sales. And then I found this big wooden crate. Let me see if I can get it out. I think this was probably in the back of a, um, like an old trunk. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to use it on my desk because you see it has a little slot here. Let's see if I can turn it over <laughs> without dropping it. I'm sorry. I'm going to use this part right here to like put cards and note cards, thank you cards and things like that. And then just like tape and pins and all that stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day and happy junking. Last night I passed by this huge church that I always go by and they were putting this stuff out. They have this yard sale once a year and I was like, oh, no, we've got to go back and check that out. So I was up there at eight o'clock and it was already covered up when I got there. But I got all of this stuff and I'm going to zoom over here and I got this Santa. He needs a good cleaning. 
but look at his little jolly face. <laughs> he is um, in need of some cleaning and sprucing up. And then I found this stool. It also needs to be made over, but I thought it was pretty. It was $2. Santa was $10. And then I got this old telephone for a dollar. I love the sound of these. Listen. I don't know about some of you whippersnappers, <laughs> you younger girls and guys, but I grew up on one of these. And the Bibles were free. And then I found this cute little trinket tray. I don't know how much it was, but I thought it was cute. And it'll be really cute painted white and distressed. Thought this was a cute little bottle. It's um, an old honey bottle. I don't really know how old it is. But I thought these were cute too. The little um, jelly jars. And then the pitcher was three chipped on the bottom and dirty and speaking of dirty my car is filthy I hauled some windows that were chipping so there was like chippy paint all over <laughs> the back of my car but yes I got all of that the stool and the Santa for $22 and that's not all I then popped into an antique store and found this old book a John Deere book it was $2 it has writing in it, but it's really old. And I'm not believing my next find. I'm sorry, I'm kind of all over the place, but I walked in this junk store. It's a thrift store. And I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I found this old ironstone platter for, are you ready? $3. So it's cracked. It's stained. It has all the crazing. But look at all this beautiful staining on the back and crazing. It's hard for you to see it. I know. I'm sorry. I'm outside. Maybe I can show this later. I could not believe this was $3. And then I found, in the same junk store, I found three sets of 100% cotton pillowcases. These are the shabby chic pillowcase set that um, it says vintage wash 100% cotton per cal. I don't know about you guys, but I love 100% cotton per cal sheets. I love the old vintage sheets. Just use those things all of the time. But these are so pretty and they have different patterns. No, you guys can't really see this out here. I should have done this on the inside. But these were $3 each. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I will see you in the next one.